Newark to JFK airports, it's one of the most annoying transfers anyone has ever made in the history of airports. And um, it would be much better if I could just get into a flying taxi and, and, make that, uh, and make that journey. What exactly is a flying taxi? What are we really looking at in terms of vehicle, pilot, power? What have you got? Yeah, hi, Matt. Thanks for having me. So um, actually, it's less a taxi than a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft shuttle. Um, what we do is that we're developing an all-electric vertical takeoff and landing jet. It's a seven-seat aircraft. And we're operating these aircraft in an intercity shuttle service that provides high-speed connectivity uh, between cities. And this enables us to achieve hours of time savings for our customers. The New York JFK route is probably one of those which I'm getting asked about by everyone who has been in New York. And we can save a lot of time on this route. But what we are also excited about is flying a bit longer trips, like 60 to 150 miles, where we can achieve hours of time saving and a high-speed connectivity without the need to build new rail tracks or roads on the ground. And uh, this is a huge opportunity to provide high-speed connectivity uh, for hundreds of cities and millions of people around the globe. But ha hang on. So we're looking at, we were just looking at, it looked like maybe guys playing video games, but I'm guessing that means these are going to be drones. So they won't be flown by a pilot in the vehicle, and they will be electrically operated. Is that right? Yes, it's all electric. However, it's going to be flown with a pilot on board. It fits into the existing ah. aviation regulation framework. So you're going to have a pilot on board and an aircraft that is certified against the same safety standards like a commercial airliner. So the big difference and the unique advantage is that it's all electric. It's a fully sustainable new transportation system. It can take off and land vertically from a helicopter pad or a similar platform. So you need very little space and you can access into the urban areas with an airplane. And the last big advantage of our unique jet technology is that it's a closed engine yeah. and these make lower noise emissions than propeller aircraft but and thus we can basically be market leading on the key enabler of this sector which is low noise emissions Daniel. combined with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. Yeah so how far away are we from actually or are you from first of all getting it certified and then you know building the infrastructure around it but actually make it commercially viable? So we're now about three years away from the certification. Lilium is a six years old company. We've had about five uh, years in technology um, development, where you've also seen the footage of the test aircraft uh, just a couple of minutes yeah. ago. And we've learned a ton of things in testing these airplanes. Uh, we actually have a very strong partner, Ferrovial, who is also an investor in Lilium, and they are building multiple landing sites at first in Florida, where we we're going to launch our service. Mm -hmm. And they are also operating this infrastructure. We are very much so taking Daniel, an agro system approach uh, to actually launch the service. So what's your biggest concern? Is it, you know, get, getting it certified that it's green or actually safety? Safety is your number one priority, always in aerospace. Uh, for that reason, we have hired um, an extremely experienced and strong aerospace leadership team, a team that has built and certified some of the biggest and most complex airliners. Um, besides the safety aspect, which is paramount in aerospace, I'm an engineer at heart, so I'm totally focused on getting the product right and getting the service right uh, to have the best experience for our customers. You aren't the only one uh, trying to compete in this space, Daniel. What is your advantage? There's several things that differentiate Lilium um, from other players in the sector. The first one is that, as I mentioned before, we're using electric jet engines. And these have two advantages. They have lower noise emissions because they are closed engines and have acoustic dampers um, in the ducts. And the second advantage of these engines is that they're much smaller than propellers. So we can make airplanes with more passenger capacity that still fit on the same limited landing infrastructure. And this is part of our mission because we want to make this type of transportation system and service available to everyone. So we have to bring in more passengers on one aircraft and we can distribute the cost of the pilot and the landing fees over more tickets. 
When is your public market debut going to come, Daniel? We're probably going to be finished with the SPAC merger sometime in August, and I'm very much looking forward to that.